our new space. Come on in. Right. This is Elliot filming a day in the life of trigonometry <laughs> and uh, the crew you've already met uh, before. Nice to meet you. Uh, so yes, as you can see, the green room isn't quite finished, but we'll show no. you the studio. Hopefully you'll be more, more impressed by that. I like the green. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was actually some one of our team that painted it. Oh, it right. was, well, this entire space from this wall to the very end of the wall over there was one big empty room. Oh, the, right. None of this was here. Okay. None of what you see. Uh, but th th this partition wall was there? This partition wall was not there, that right. wall wasn't there, okay. the kitchen wasn't there, the table, nothing was here. All right. And then if you come and have a look at the studio itself, all of this is built, you know, the, the brick wall, the side walls that allow us to have different kinds of lighting on the side, all of this, the storage room, everything. Uh, we've done ourselves basically, so it's been it's quite, a big quite an improvement on a, on a bed set. Really. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. What we'll do is we'll get some drinks ready, then, yeah, sit, sit, sit in, and, sit and in start. And oh, and I need to go and do my makeup actually. So we act. Do you know that we had a woman from one of the biggest TV shows in Britain come and train us how to do our makeup? He's not talking to me. <laughs> Just how it should be. Makeup with KK. First, I don't know what this is, but it's some kind of photo finish smooth and blur. This is so my forehead is slightly less shiny. Well, just my whole face really. So as you can see right now, my face is a mix of like red patches and black eyes because Nikolai won't let me sleep. And the idea of makeup is to make very little impact on that whatsoever because I still look like that. Then we do the brown stuff to go make me look even more Pakistani than I already do. Dab. Dab, 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 dab. As you can see, it creates a nice smooth... Mate, I'm sounding like some kind of online influencer that sells makeup. I did not expect this shit. I bet you the birds are loving this now. So the idea is to basically smooth it out so my face looks like it has a consistent skin tone, which it normally doesn't. So we've done that. And this is the crucial bit, Elliot. Le Taint Velvet. I mean, this is not natural as I make for a man to be doing this. So this is for the black eyes. She picked two different shades that I have to mix. Like that, and like that, and you sort of blend it in. Proper Essex orange, mate. As my wife said with the first time she saw me do this makeup, you actually look healthy, right? So you can see the eyes are slightly less black. Can we see that? Do we see that? No? All right. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you lose your masculinity live on camera. All right, let's do this. Gonna have a great interview with Nigel Bigger. Some business meetings, then Raw, then an interview on Piers Morgan. It's gonna be a long day, which is the days that we normally have anyway. Did Harman tell you how he uh, came to us? No, 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 no. So he used to work in TV doing yeah. basically what he does for us now. Tell Nigel the story. After the, the, the George Floyd thing in 2020, I, I was always a bit dissatisfied with TV being very prescriptive in what you could say. When you're making documentaries, you kind of had the conclusion already and it was, what pieces of evidence do we select? To, to get there. That was your experience? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. After the George Floyd moment, they started sending these bizarre emails out to their staff of colour saying, um, please tell us what we need to unlearn <laughs> and what we need to undo. We want to hear from you. So I just I kind of responded as a joke, can you please unlearn my email address? <laughs> <laughs> and they, 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 they started to kind of solicit us for stories of our experiences in TV that were negative with regards to our race. And I didn't particularly really have any, so they kind of stopped emailing me, but they found a bunch of other people who had kind of stories that were then kind of told to the company, and it was just this weird impression put forth of like, that the whole company was this kind of cloak and dagger environment with all this kind of quiet, behind the scenes bigotry and stuff. Yeah. Everyone kind of looked at each other knowing that this was not how it was, but that was just the the sheer force of that was the direction we were going in. So it actually started to make me feel quite weird. I kind of, you know, I was very much treated on account of my race, not in like an overtly racist way, but also it was kind of not something people could ignore. Yeah. So I just sent these guys an email and said, you yeah, know, you guys. I know you're racist. Yeah, <laughs> but that's, but it's kind of straightforward. So, I think, <laughs> so you knew what you were getting. It's not like a yeah. mind fuck, I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I think for a lot of people, it's a, just a relief to be in an environment. And for me and for us, it's mm. actually just where None of that matters. Yeah. We yeah. just care about the work, you know, yeah. and we employ whoever, you know, we, and <laughs> we, we talked about this when we were rogue and we have like someone who works for us as gender dysphoria, someone who makes images for us who's trans, you know, and, and we're like, very diverse, so, we? so yeah. what we're saying is the system isn't perfect. We're striving to, striving we're, to be white and male, Nigel, yeah. we're not quite really getting there. <laughs> we're really failing. We're really failing. There's just not enough of them left. Though. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're a dying breed, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we go and do the interview? Sure. Yeah, cool. Let's go and do it. <laughs> Sort of 
This is where the KK jackets live. It's tidy, as you can see. This gets tidied once a week and then just returns to the state. You're wearing your jacket? Uh, yeah, well, I, just a blazer. Do I, I can... No, no, you don't need to. Sure. No, yeah, you look great. Okay, fine. You look great. It's a very interesting story. I was listening to you on a podcast yesterday by way of research, I think. Before the book came out, he said, uh, I cannot think of anything more countercultural. So I just got the impression he was nervous. But Francis, I'm, I'm far too important. <laughs> well, I was going to say, not, it's I'm much better sure to be feared for your controversial nature than to be ignored I, because I, you're absolutely. not significant. So I, I prefer to think that he was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready. Yeah, ready for okay. Hello, and welcome to Trigonometry. Good to hear, Nigel. That's us. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, right. Great. You, you do such a good job, you two. I mean, just, uh, uh, um, I mean it's, it's all a pleasure to speak to you. You mm. ask interesting questions, and just in terms of your contribution to public discussion, really important. Well done. Thank you Thank very you much. We appreciate you being on yeah. here. Oh, the interview was brilliant. Uh, really, really enjoyable. Great fun. Uh, it's one of our favourite things at Trigonometry for both me and Constantin and the viewers and listeners to get a historian on. It just, it's one of our favourite ever episodes. You made about Nigel specifically. You yeah. could have said, you know, Nigel's one of my favourite guests. No, just historians, mate. <laughs> you know what? You know what I like about my wife is <laughs> women are great. Yeah. I mean, let's not go too far, mate. I'm going to give Nigel a copy of, of my book uh, in case he gets bored on the toilet on the train or something. Or runs out of toilet paper. Or runs out of toilet paper, as Elliot helpfully said. He's now fired, by the way. No, wait. Now, Elliot, you're going to make this, then you're fired. There we go. Great. We were just throwing ideas around and we wanted something that yeah. would be sort of like half a trigger warning, half incitement to like, this could be interesting. Right. Uh, and uh, you'll let me know when this comes up. Harvard will be that. Great to see you. Thanks, well, thanks very much. My mum knitted this, you know. She's very proud, as am I. It's very nice. You know, I'll have a lamb shish as well. Okay. Two lamb shish, two chicken shish, and, then, and whatever you're having. Okay, cool. It may seem like wasteful spending, by the way, uh, but it's not because we don't. Have, we do actually cook quite a bit. Just we, we literally have no time today. We got here. The guys had to set up. Then the interview. Now we're going to have a couple of meetings. Then we're doing raw. Then after raw, I'm I'm doing Piers Morgan to slag off Gary Lineker, which he, he deserves. And then pack down, put out a clip from raw. So we won't be out of here until about ten o'clock. So that's how our days usually are, especially Thursday, Friday, Saturday when we're doing raw. Should sure everybody wouldn't want to do. An interview particularly on Saturday because no. of the Jewish stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always forget. So we've got the breakdown for Raw. So this Raw we're going to be covering Lineker and Braverman, Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, has said she's been deeply offended by Gary Lineker's comments because everyone's fucking deeply offended now because her husband is Jewish. Uh, number four is the New York Times, always a great publication. Would you date a podcast, bro? And number five, uh, we'll be talking about Rogan's Comedy Club, which opened uh, a couple of days ago. Job done, mate. All right, thanks, mate. All right. Parcels arrived. My name, which usually means Anton. Oh. Anton has been spending company money well. <laughs> Laura Smart uh, got us an Xbox uh, and uh, he's bought us whatever the fuck this is. Is it a wireless controller? Anyway, I... Actually, while she was doing Piers Morgan, I might have a go on the old Xbox. Have we got any games? I don't think so. Oh. We never have time to do anything. I don't, I don't even know why he's bought this, to be honest. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe we should have got Nigel bigger on the Xbox. Maybe it's just mate. so there's another controller. We only got one controller. No, but there's a white one. Yeah. Yeah, so we got two. We do now. Oh, right, okay. That's why I was saying he's bought the second one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, I wasn't listening to that bit. So, we're just in the final stages of sorting out our America trip. It's really exciting. We've got some incredible guests lined up. We're going to go to a couple of states. We're not going to do what we did last time, which is go to practically every state in the United States, because that meant that we nearly died. But we've got some amazing guests lined up. We're going to go to some brilliant cities. This is part one. And then we've got part two of our America trip coming up later on in the year. So can't wait for that. Right now, as we're recording this, uh, we're uh, about a month out from the trip. So we've left it a little bit late, but that's what we always do. It's going to be all fully recorded. Um, and also, 
uh, we're not going to eat nearly as much as we did last time. Francis has been informed. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Francis? Furious. He's furious. I'm kind of, uh, no, that's lovely. That's that's awesome. That is good. It's, is it tzatziki? All right, so we're waiting for Anton, who's run away as usual. Uh, normally, Francis does a lot of the cooking, and I do sometimes, and so does Anton. Uh, but today, we're very short on time, so we ordered a takeaway. Here is Anton. Anton, there's some food, uh, food over here, mate. And, uh, yeah, we're going to say grace. Harman doesn't give a shit. He's already getting stuck in. I like to say grace after the meal, you know, when I'm, yeah, when you're properly I'm grateful. much more thankful then, yeah. For what we're about to receive, uh, the many blessings that are coming our way, but also taking a moment to be grateful for what we have and everything that we have achieved and the wonderful people we've met in our journey. May we be truly grateful. Amen. 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 Of who captured any of the slaves, anywhere in the museum. Right. They literally... They went over there and... The Europeans. TV and popular media, like... Great use of company money. I, I bought it. I'm kidding, mate. Yeah. I'm kidding. See what they're making me fucking do? It's great. See? Too hot, just burnt myself. Alright, here we go. Let's get ready to roll. About to do Piers Morgan. Uh, it's 8:30, uh, and after this, we're finally going to wrap up. Well, we've got to pick a clip from the raw, uh, and the title and thumb, and then we'll be ready to go. Anton's going to get home before midnight tonight, which is uh, early. They're talking about Harry and Meghan. Is that what you're on to talk about? Hey. Is that what you're on to talk no, about? Thankfully, not. I'm on to talk about uh, Gary Lineker, but they're, they're talking about Harry and Meghan. Do you feel like you're back on down button? Is this not exactly the problem? Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, you too.